all over here at Worthing FC with Chipping and manager Gary Horgan. Gary, sadly a 3-1 loss for the Bluebirds today on the road. Talk us through your thoughts, mate. Yeah, look, I, if, I'm, if I'm totally honest, it didn't feel like a 3-1 game at all. In fact, a lot, lot closer than that, you know. We go in one nil up at, at half-time um, with them having had one shot in the whole game. Um, and us actually creating some, some, some really good chances in the first half. Um, fairly fairly you know, even even game, certainly first half. Um, and then second half, uh, they come out of school within within a minute, I think. Um, I think it's a foul on, on, on Ed Williams. I think he's he's trodden on from behind, all up his Achilles, um, and, and, and nothing's given. And they, they continue to play when we've got a man down. Um, and, and yeah, look, from then on, it's 1-0. It, it's we lost a little bit, of, a little bit of impetus in that time, and then we we, we give the ball away um, from a throw for it to be to be two one. But look, second not as I said, second half and first half, it, it certainly didn't didn't reflect. I think the the closeness of the game. We certainly had loads of chances second half as well, even at, even at three one. Um, you know, there were a couple that, 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 that probably should have resulted in it being much closer. And as I said, so so lo lo lots to be positive about today for, for sure. Yeah, I'll we'll bounce it back to the first half, Gary. Yeah, with a comfortable performance. To borrow one of your phrases, it was a little bit of a chess match to start out with. Both sides very content to play football, but it was Matt McClaw that broke the deadlock, his eighth goal of the season, right on the half time, and you know, a thoroughly deserved one. And Matty's, uh, you know, really coming good as a coming good as that striker now, put, putting the goals away. Yeah, for sure, and he, you know, provided not not quite an assist. Um, you know, he put one across the across the face of the goal that Faz nearly got on the end of. And they managed to nick that one away, and there was a couple of other chances. Like I said, first half was a couple that, you know, obviously the keeper's made a great great save for him second half as well, and one that he's not managed to quite take when we're, we're through 1v1 almost. And um, so, you know, he could have had a, a couple more today. No, nothing clear, clear cut, clear cut. But yeah, look, he's, he's, he's threatening. And we certainly created, you know, lots today, really. So, yeah, look, I, I don't really like to be hugely, hugely positive after, you know, when, we, when, when we've come away with a, with a defeat. but. But yeah, look, I think that was a, a really pleasing performance of almost. And I suppose one of those positives, Gary, if we are looking for it, is the goals for Worthing. You say it didn't feel like a 3-1 game. That's probably largely due to the fact that those goals came really when we were pressing to try and get ourselves back in the uh, back on the tally, really, in terms of points and two counter-attacking goals down the right-hand side. They moved the ball very well, Worthing, on. They're a very good side. Yeah, the, the, the third one was, like I said, the second one came from our throat. So, um, and, and then the first one comes when it's, it's 10 v 11. So, um, look, they're a good side. They're a good side at what they do. And certainly when you get two one up, um, then gaps start to open because, like I said, we had to chase the game. And it, and it did. It became a, it became a really good, entertaining game. Um, like I said, on the wrong end of a, of a, of, of, of the result today, of the reverse. Um, you know, maybe, maybe I sort of said to the lads in there, that I, I, I take it on the chin. Maybe I should have. And could have changed it earlier in the second yeah, half, um, but but yeah, look, it's um, it's a, it, it's a, a real positive performance today. So so yeah, look, it's we haven't won a game of football, and we'll have to like I say, I hate to say it, but dust ourselves down for Tuesday night. And another positive, yo, away from the game today, Gary Dan Ellison spending a bit of time with the Championship Club this week in Sheffield Wednesday. What can you tell us about that, Gus? Um, well, I don't know if it's a positive um, because we certainly wouldn't wouldn't want to lose him. Um, but look, no, of course, look, uh, Dan's had a bit of interest. Yeah, he spent he spent um, some some time up with Sheffield Wednesday last week. Um, but as I said, we've had some interest in him from from a number of clubs, and quite rightly, you know, he's he's done well. He's been playing well, and and again, nearly scored again today. So. Um, yeah, look, it's, it's part of what we're we're, we're trying to do here. We, we, we know how good the you know the, the, the academy is and, and the players within it and within the system. We're giving them chances, and we always will do that and continue to do that. But um, but yeah, look, he, at the moment he, he remains firmly a, a, a Chippenham Town player. Good. And I was talking about remaining within our squad. Our squad's starting to look a little bit more depth to it now. Gary, with returning players, Amadi Holloway's made his first start for quite a while today. Will King's come back in following his little injury, and they've both played uh, you know a very very good part in a in a competitive game today yeah it sounds sounds straight I say sounds strange um, they, they both you know were, were, were decent performances from both today you know we we've, we've missed Aaron a little bit and we've um, you know, like I say he, he, he's coming and done well today King has done well as well today and, and as I said the strange bit of it is that everybody's done okay today done you know done well so it's we've, we've lost the game of football but as I said we've we've, we've had some really positive and, and strong performances today which is the good thing and you talk about dust off and pick yourselves up. You haven't got a long time now to do that before the next game, Tuesday night against Hemel. Another side that are going solid this year in the National League South. You know, another team that you know you probably know what you're up against when it comes against Hemel. But uh, you've got to get the boys ready for Tuesday night now, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like I said, you know, I, I did have one eye on the, the, the game Tuesday during the second half, and, and maybe I should have maybe should have made some, some, some earlier changes with, with that in mind, really. So. Um, yeah, look, it's um, it's another game that we'll 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 have to see who's 
who's um, fit and able after this game. You know, we haven't really got anybody who's going to be back in time for for that game. We'll welcome uh, Nat Williams back uh, certainly off the off the somewhere, so 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 he'll help. Um, but yeah, but as I said, we'll, we'll 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 go and try and win that game on Tuesday. Good stuff. Well, commiserations for the result today, Gary. Well done for the performance. We'll see you on Tuesday night at Helmholtz. Thank you. What I mean.